Hello, welcome to Rocky Nidro. Thank you so much. How are you? Good. Enjoying the sun, the weather? Yes, and I love it in Bologna too, so this is good. The weather's good. It wasn't so good for Fatboy Slim, I hear. Yeah, exactly. These things happen, you know? Yeah. Um, this is not your first time in Italy. No. And uh, so maybe you have an idea of what you might like from the crowd of a festival in Italy. You know, I've only been to like northern Italy, meaning Torino and Milano and Bologna. Never been to the south. So these are different places. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of music fans and, and I like Italian people. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so maybe any expectation? No, I just want people to have a very good time. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate we have such a short set, but that's okay. There's lots of good bands today, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. but you have a huge discography. Yeah. Yeah, can you tell us more about that? I don't know, about inspirations or... Well, I love music. See, mm -hmm. uh, I, I never wanted to be a rock star. To me, can I cuss? Mm -hmm. Do you guys cuss? Dirty words? Mm. Can I use a dirty word? Oh, yeah, sure. Why See, not? I never wanted to be a rock star because rock stars like fuck your sister backstage or something, you know? Like, I always wanted to play music, uh, you know, and like folk music or something. I wanted to be like a guy like Mike Watt or something, just be able to play anywhere. Or I know Bob Dylan's like icon or something, but he, he never sold too many records. Mm. But he, I never wanted to even be an icon. I wanted to just, you know make people want to play music, be able to live, have my house, you know, be very simple. So that's, that's what I've done over these years, you yeah, know, for a, 24 years. It's a nice way of life. I yeah, mean, it, it took a while to build up, but now we can play anywhere in the world and, you know, it pays for itself. We have a big boss and all these things, you know, I have employees, so. Yeah. I you know, have a record company, so I put out other bands, you know, mm -hmm. from around the world. So you have anyone you want to suggest us? Any new well, there's a band, if you like bands like Jesus and Mary Chain, there's a band called the KBV. Mm -hmm. We put out this band from Iceland called the Dead Skeletons. Um, a band from Sweden uh, called Les Big Bird. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm doing this band. It's kind of like almost punk vocals, like almost skinhead working class vocals over like laptop mm -hmm. music. Okay. And they're called Sleeper Mods. I think people would really like it in this country. Mm -hmm. Just two guys. Um, you know, I just try and put out things all the time, you know? Yeah. So apart from rock or psychedelic rock or mm. punk. Well, these are all different types of mm -hmm. music that I put out. Yeah. I was interested in asking you if you listen to a completely different kind of music also. Well, I started out programming synthesizers mm -hmm. as a first music. Nice. You know, uh, and I, I like electronic music, I, but I don't like convenience oriented approaches to music. I like things that I find interesting. Like, you know, I was in France and I walked into this bar and this 70 year old lady was working and it was like this hairdresser music playing. And it was almost like she was a victim of modern music mm -hmm. of the radio. Like it wasn't what she was supposed to be listening to. It's just, she's maybe too lazy to bother turning off the radio. Yeah. It's just some sound. And it makes me sad that the whole world's like that. Yeah. You maybe know, the, the technology. Uh, but it's also the corporations, okay. you know, like they've, they've turned the DJs into these like 12 million euro a year DJs. Now it isn't the club or the promoter that's making this money. It's the corporation that goes, this is the hot DJ. We're going to have uh, absolute vodka pay this guy 50,000 for a night. It's not the cl small club that can make that money from charging 10 euros to come in and it's ladies night. It's because the corporation. So it's wrecking everything, I think. They need to put it back into perspective. I don't think that people should make 6 million euros a year for DJing, mm -hmm. for, for maybe, pressing a button. Yeah, maybe producing when they do produce. Well, now it's just like selling stuff. They make fake charts, you know, like mm -hmm. they bust Lady Gaga. They say like, oh, you have 30 million Twitter fans. And they go, oh, they're all fake. She yeah. gets paid for like... Five, five million YouTube things, they find out they use the computer hacker. Mm -hmm. It's not even those many plays. The TV tells you to play it. You know, it's perspective, I think. Mm -hmm. But whatever, everything will change, you know? Yeah. But do you think that um, wait, w w once you had to spend your money, invest your money yeah. in uh, ads yeah. and maybe promotional magazines and mm -hmm. stuff, now everything is, has switched to digital, so you have to pay maybe for 
Facebook likes and well, what they do is they, they call it discovery mm -hmm. and what that means is if you know you look up Led Zeppelin all of a sudden it goes you might like Queens of the Stone Age too mm -hmm. and it becomes and so they make you pay for this position yeah. you know when you're on Spotify but you know as long as they're not stopping other people from being natural I think it's okay just to have to work and build your thing see like I live in Europe and Berlin but also, you know, this is common, I think, being an American, like this different kind of American, the natural kind of immigrant American is you like the underdog, mm -hmm. the guy that came from Italy and, you know, like has a nice place now, right? Yeah. So I kind of like this, this uh, having to work for your thing instead of somebody just pressing a button. So it's yeah. okay, you know? Yeah, okay. Because I watched, you have to understand, in my, in my 25 years or whatever, just from this band, I watched everybody in Enemy, all the magazines, everybody who they told me was famous, every mm -hmm. single band with the big bus, the headline slot, I watched everybody fail. Everyone is out of business. Okay. I watched every guy from every record company, corporation, lose his job. I watched the record companies all collapse and the record industry yeah. in my time. Okay, yeah. Every big star, right? Except for like Neil Young or some shit. Mm -hmm. All of them gone. Well, that's a nice... Uh, you know what I'm talking uh, yeah, about. Though. Yeah, yeah. But true. Everybody, even, you know, everybody out of business. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you want to have a, I don't know, a final shout or, I don't know, a message, mm. just not even concerning this one, whatever comes up to your mind. Well... I'm just very thankful that I was invited to play, mm -hmm. um, and it's a beautiful day. I'm looking forward to it, you know, and yeah. uh, that's all, you know. Yeah, that, that's wonderful. Good enough. Yeah, that's part of the music. That's music. Well, uh, I, the thing that I love about music is the the energy that brings people together and keeps them together. Mm -hmm. You know, that's for me what it's about. Yeah. You know. Cool. Thank you, Dan. And it's my pleasure.